we appreciate your conviction. And right. your passion. And, and yeah, you, yeah. you have a real passion for attacking this real problem of obesity. It, and, you know, are we winning the war? Probably not. But our job here today is, and, and you know, you're getting, showing your results. Hey, I can go, I can Google wor World Health Organization. I can see people in famine areas starving. And yes, they're going to be skinny. I mean, th there's no denying that. They're not fat. Fat people can't starve. And then you say that this is dangerous when people are chopping their guts out with bariatric surgery. And how do you deal with a 1,000 pound man? For a 25 year old person, what is the end game? Like, what is your plan? So, hypothetically speaking, this person is going to live until, let's say, they're 85. So, what are they going to do between now and 85 to maintain that weight loss? Okay, so basically, what happens? So, if you're fat, you have a fasting routine for everybody, okay? So we're talking about weight loss here. Okay. So the fat people don't need to eat. They need to fast as long as they can. They need to be in fasting forced ketosis. This is not a ketogenic diet. So for we're 60 years? We're for, what's that? For 60 years, so... Some great quality for, of life. Let me From 25 finish, to 85, so I'm talking about finish. the long-term plan. That's a great let question. Finish. Because sustainability so is really important. Yeah, so I'm, I just, finish. I do, I want to hear your plan. Let me finish. Okay. So say you got a guy, let's just go through the whole thing. So you got a guy, 500 pounds. So he comes to me and say, we're fasting hardcore. We're doing 72s, 96 hour fast and so on, so okay. forth. That's he gets down days. to 200 pounds. Okay, he gets down to 200 pounds. Maybe he does a one month fast. Then once you're lean, then you can go back to a lower or a higher eating frequency, like a meal a day, which is what I eat. I compete in so, powerlifting. So for like the I'm next in, 59 like years, I'm, they're gonna eat one meal a day. Exactly, why not? What do you why eat not? in that meal? I'm just curious, What are, are you eating like uh, small game because it's the snake diet? Or what exactly are you <laughs> eating during that one meal? Well, you don't need to be smart. He enough, eats it whole. Yeah, with the tea, you know, <laughs> fur, hooves, <laughs> whatever. And, and I gotta say, I mean, I've seen your picks. I eat six times a day and I'd put my abs against yours. You know, I mean, it's, Woo! there's no way to do it. I mean, Cole, Cole, very important for us to ask because our concern up here as physicians is getting people into medical issues, medical trouble, fasting right. like this, unsupervised dieting, fasting. So in one of your social media groups, we found a woman who posted that she was following what you recommended and developed seizures uh, on your diet. Now, I mean, this potentially could be a life-threatening issue. Yeah. How, isn't that a concern to you? Well, that, for starters, that post, it was fake. Because you notice how she didn't even, you know how many haters I have? Like, that post on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, I can understand that. Oh, we're, we're trying not <laughs> to <laughs> hate your pet. I can't do it. That's the thing. You know, I, back, I want to go back to the question the other fellow had that was in the military there, the other doctor. Yeah, I got so you. So what you're doing, yeah, what you're doing right now, let's say, like, let's just dumb it down to even mainstream intermittent fasting. Sure. If you took what you ate right now and you packed it into a tight window, I guarantee you'd actually be able to eat more calories than you are now. Your metabolism will go up. I guarantee it. I disagree. That's I eat exactly. a lot. I, I, I'm I active. I out. eat a lot. And I would take, you know, your years of medical research, randomized control tiles against your Facebook group where if someone disagrees, then they're a hater and they're not included in the trial. But you understand, you understand though, when you guys say about the sustainability, yeah. humans were doing this for 200,000 years. But they were really so hungry, six, Cole. <laughs> yeah. they really they were really and they were right I do appreciate your passion for this obesity epidemic, and yes. I feel like we are we all want to get to the same point, which is a healthier like, individual, but we have very different ideas as far as how we can get there. Like, even you guys argue with me, like, about this stuff. You guys are doctors. Like, you guys are all drinking coffee. I don't drink coffee. We're not drinking coffee. This is water. I don't water. Drink coffee. coffee reduces and cold, cold. cancer and Alzheimer's. Yes, absolutely. Coffee is the top source of antioxidants in the American diet. Expert nutritionist, right? Well, legitimately, well, real deal. One of the top I do drink coffee. Well, well, if you don't drink Alzheimer's. coffee either, boy, you're di there's no way I could go on the snake diet. It's like cold. Right? We, <laughs> cold. <laughs> we appreciate your passion. Yeah. We have to wrap this up. We do want to address the obesity yes. crisis, but we want to do it in a safe. Yes. Medical way. way we don't want it collateral safe, damage yeah. right. along the way. People right. get into other medical problems. So, but for people listening, people that want to follow your diet, make sure that they do it safely with supervision.